Hi, Shanna here with Chattanooga Fashion Expo. We're continuing our alumni series, and my guest today is Ben with Gemstone Drippin'. What's good, everyone? My name is Benjamin Devine, Gemstone Drippin', and I am an alumni. He is an alumni because he is not here for the first time. He is here. This is your second year. True, yes. So we have an interesting story. I'm going to let you tell it, how you got connected to us last year, because it was kind of a last-minute thing. I needed a jewelry artist, and somehow we got connected... Yes. And so, you were like, yes, I'll come to Chattanooga. So it was all divine alignment. And ironically, everybody who was involved with that is actually in this room at this moment. Shout out to the camera. <gasps> That's right. I forgot. <laughs> it was Dennis who connected us. So, yeah. Because so, I was, my mind was thinking, okay, Sakana Rose, there was a photo shoot. And correct. then I was like, how did I? That's hilarious. Correct. So Sakana Rose, uh, she had a photo shoot in Atlanta. And uh, I've done a lot of work with Sakana Rose. That's very good friend, good family. And um, Dennis was there, and he seen the jury, and he informed you. Yes, because I was like, I need a jury person. And, and he was then, like, you should call this guy. Mm -hmm. And then last year, um, I provided jury for as a supporting act for everybody else. And it was amazing. It because was. you dressed Romy's people. Okay, so Romy, mm -hmm. if you missed the show last year, the Herapy show was incredible. Romy had these full length formals mm -hmm. and you did all these elaborate crowns and beautiful work on these people. Yes. It was, it was stunning. Yes. It was stunning work. Thank you. Thank you. And, and then you were a vendor. That is true. That is true. Uh, not only vending, um, it, it was it was a wonderful experience. You dressed for a couple of uh, designers last year too. I did. And then the winner, uh, Molly, we, the photo shoot that happened after. That's right. We did the we winner's did photo too. shoot, and mm -hmm. you also dressed that. So he worked his booty off. Let's just say that. Showed up at the last minute, brought his amazing charisma spirit, and worked and did all the shows. But this year... This year, I am... <laughs> this year is um, very meaningful to me because I am headlining as a featured designer, the first jewelry designer to be featured in the expo, and I'm teaching the class as well. Um, and I'll be on tonight's panel as well. So um, it just is a testament to the growth, a yeah. uh, testament yeah. to the favor as well. Yeah. So uh, I'm grateful. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, got some got something good in store for you. We're really excited because, you know, you, you bring such an intentionality to your work that's very obvious in every design. And, like, his art is beautiful to look at, but it's more than that. It's powerful. And I knew from the minute I even saw the photos and then, when, of course, when I met him and his beautiful spirit, I was like, no, there's something very special about his work. And it's him. Because as an artist, you imbue your passion, your creativity, your intentionality into the work if you're doing it right. Let's talk about that because that's what the topic of your workshop is. You're going to be talking about intentionality and design. And I think that's really important. That is true. So I'm so intentional that my company motto is quantity and integrity are intentional. Mm. Um, everything that I do when I'm crafting jewelry, I don't even craft jewelry if my energy is off. Um, I, even when I'm crafting, I'm utilizing like my newer beats and cleansing the energy yeah. of the crystals with like sage, palo santo, mm -hmm. and uh, other spiritual modalities as well. Not only that, there's an actual scientific functionality behind the copper uh, and the jewelry that I'm making, utilizing uh, like the Egyptian cubic metrics. Um, and even the, way the stones, how I coil, the, right? yeah, like the crystals, the stones. So, so it's. It's all of that. So, my jury, I'm, I'm, I'm literally bringing high fashion to a genre of jury that has never happened before yeah. on this scale. You're bringing and, high frequency to high fashion. That's a tagline. Oh, I like that. What? Bringing high frequency to high fashion. <laughs> you can have that. that. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no, but it's true. That's what you're doing. You're literally elevating an art form. That is with, true. With positive energy. That is true. Which we need. That is true because I'm, I'm real big and I say this all the time. I have to be responsible for the energetic karma. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm here to do something really big. I don't know what it is as of yet. Just me for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your highest aspiration. I'm just kidding. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> hey. <sh. laughs> well, whatever God has me here to do. Uh, it must be something so powerful and magnificent because I'm a miracle baby. Yeah. So as I've noticed that all of my gifts and talents are leading, are, are like the infinity stones mm -hmm. to, to Thanos. But when I snap my fingers, it's going to leave 
a very positive effect yeah. and mark upon the world. I believe that 100%. I've been called in the last six months to a real different kind of life as well. So I understand more and more what you're talking about with intentionality of life that feeds into intentionality of art. Mm -hmm. And it's not an easy journey. I mean, it takes sacrifice. It takes, you know, just kind of reordering your life sometimes and cutting off things or adding on things that make you healthier. Um, but I appreciate you. You're an inspiration to me. You always have been since we met. And I appreciate your friendship and your work and your spirit, your love. And I'm, I'm so appreciative of you being here to support us again this year. Um, and I'm so happy to provide a showcase for you because this man deserves the stage. His work deserves the stage. And that's the kind of people I love elevating. And I can't wait to see where you go. It's, it's Chattanooga really has a very special place in my heart, especially after last year. So don't be shocked or surprised when y'all see me walk in the streets because I moved in. Yeah, <laughs> I, I look, I vote for that one. Thank you for coming. Hey, thank you. And I gratitude. just appreciate you being here. Another one of our amazing CFE alumni. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for being here. We can't wait to see your stuff on the runway. It's going to be magic. Hey. Be sure to follow him on Instagram and buy your intentional work because it will change your life literally. Also, Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Gemstone Driven. That's G E M S T O N E D R I P P I N. And if you're looking to explore like my other talents, because I also. I'm a public speaker and I perform poetry as well. So you can find me on Instagram at I am Benjamin Divine. Spelled D-I-V-I-N-E. I got a life. I'll share that way. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Shannon with Chattanooga Fashion Expo and our alumni series.